And he's in the pocket, bumped around, hit, and he's down, back. Cam, Cam Hayward. Hayward. Oh. He's hit, and Cam Hayward is in there. He's sacked back at the 15-yard line. Cam Hayward first on the scene. Cam Hayward, five and a half sacks on the year. Cam, coach said in the team meeting on Monday that he told everybody the end of the Cleveland game, you can't use that as a distraction to the fact that it was a loss. And mm -hmm. I think and it's fair to say a bad loss. Yeah. So was that message quickly received, and how do you guys kind of turn the page and try to regroup? I think uh, it was received, but uh, we were already thinking that, you know, uh, we had a long weekend to think about uh, that game. So coming in Monday, I thought uh, everybody addressed it and moved forward. You know, I think uh, we got a lot of important games coming up. Uh, we just got to focus on that. When you look back at maybe what went wrong, mm -hmm. how do you fix it? Is it fixable? Is it something easy? Was it just simply everybody not executing? How, how do you sum it up? Well, it better be fix fixable. Um, if it's not, we're in a lot of trouble. But uh, I think, you know, I think we could do a better job of not letting the plays get extended. Um, I thought we really struggled in that aspect. Um, you know, we got to get Baker on the ground or any quarterback. Um, you know, they can't, you know, continue to have time and, you know, buy time for the receivers because that puts a lot of stress on our DBs. Um, you know, I thought we stopped the run okay, but I think there are times where uh, we could be more stout. You were voted one of the four captains for 2019. Yes. Unfortunately, heading into the Bengals game for a number of reasons, you were the only one playing in it. Ooh. Is that added pressure? Do you not think about it? Or do you always just maybe try to be that guy to rally the troops? I didn't think about it till now. Um, Sorry. <laughs> you know, I want to make sure, uh, knock on wood, that I'm, I'm healthy. But, uh, you know, uh, whatever this team needs. Um, if I got to lead a little bit more, so be it. But, uh, you know, the good thing about playing here is um, just because you have the C on your chest uh, doesn't mean you're not a captain or a leader. Um, we got a lot of guys that lead in different ways. You know, you got TJ, Ramon Foster, um, you know, uh, David DeCastro doesn't say a lot, uh, but let's just play through the talking. Um, so we're going to rely on a lot of different guys to lead. Um, it's just got to be, be that way for six more games so we get in these playoffs. Does the team need anything different or maybe extra because of the fact, as you said, it was a Thursday game and you have mm -hmm. to wait so long to play the next game to maybe try to get that bad taste out of your mouth? No, I think uh, you got to, you know, you know, run with that. You know, I think with the extra time, um, we get to think about our mistakes a little bit more. Um, and hopefully we can correct it for the next game. Um, you know, hopefully it just makes us, you know, on edge a little bit more and more urgency is, is coming forward. What does Marquise Pouncey mean to this team, not just as a captain, but yeah. just somebody who's been here for so long and is maybe that guy that everybody looks up to? He's a go-to guy. He's a guy that you can rely on, um, who's got the job done, um, and who excels against, you know, anybody that he goes against. So uh, I know we're going to be uh, missing him for a little bit of time, but BJ's got to step up, and the other old lineman got to pick him up around him. He's going to throw the ball down the field. Intercepted, running up the field, and that is Minka Fitzpatrick. Goff, pocket collapses. Oh. Fumble, Steelers have it. Minka Fitzpatrick running up the sideline. He's got nothing but green. Kiss him goodbye. The but. ball came out, and Minka pounced on it and ran up the sideline outside the numbers. Officially a 96-yard touchdown return. When Ben went down, I think the defense kind of took it upon themselves to say, all right, we need to step up more to help the offense, mm -hmm. knowing that you could potentially be without a number of other key <laughs> makers on offense. More pressure, what do you guys do? Uh, more pressure, but I turn to more turnovers um, and more sacks and more, you know, touchdowns on our, our defensive side of the ball. You know, uh, I think if we can do that and create an atmosphere where, um, you know, you're not just relying on the offense to get points, uh, you're getting them some short fields. Uh, and then we're converting uh, as the offensive side of the ball. Uh, that's a successful winning. In your opinion, who's one of the, I guess, more underrated players on the defense for the Steelers? Underrated players? Uh, you know, I think um, you've watched this season, and uh, Steve Nelson has really jumped, my, jumped out to me. Um, doesn't say a lot, uh, goes about his business. Um, and I think the thing we love about him is uh, there's not a lot of catches happening on that side of the ball. Um, you know, he, he just, you know, he, he's quiet, he's, a, he's an assassin, uh, but he gets the job done. And then another guy I don't want to forget about, uh, Tyson Alulu. Um, you know, that's my running mate out there. Um, you know, he's a little bit older than me, but uh, <laughs> I like to keep, I like to say he's the old man in the group. But, uh, you know, he's uh, very steady for us um, and a guy we can rely on going forward.
other than the change in quarterback, what is the biggest difference in terms of Cincy's offense since the last time you guys saw them? I think they just rely on Joe Mixon a little bit more. You know, I think uh, you know with a, a new quarterback, you want to settle in with a good running game. And um, I think a couple weeks ago, he had like 30 carries, and that was a career high for him. So, um, you know, we got to make sure we get after him, stop the run, and then make him one-dimensional. Over 50 sacks for you, 50 and a half. Does that mean anything? Uh, we'll see uh, when we're done playing, and we'll see where I'm at. <laughs> that wasn't like a number that you're like, all right, I know I can hit it this season, maybe. Uh, I, I really didn't think about that. You know, I think uh, you know, there's greats. Uh, they're still above me. Um, I want to catch them, but my main goal is to win games, not to just get sacked. I have to give credit to the PR department, but I threw out the stat on Twitter today that the Steelers are 8-0 when you have at least two sacks in a game. I know right. you told me to shh, but that's kind of phenomenal, right? I and mean, we just got to... Uh, Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. Let me get some more sacks and uh, hopefully we can keep this record going.